The Offense of South Municipal Education Directorate in Ashanti Region is proposing a national policy to decongest classrooms when school resumes from COVID-19 break. Municipal Director Joyce Adriama suggests various classes should come to school on different days to deal with overcrowding. Joyce Adriama was briefing members of, uh, member of parliament for Offense of South, Ben Abdalabanda, on safety measures in schools in anticipation of the return of the children. Nanaya Ojima has more in the following report. Class population in Ghana averages 50, almost twice international benchmark. Challenges to effective teaching and learning have been compounded by outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic. Mrs. Eduyama says the issue of congestion is a general one. Uh, because of the uh, free senior high school, uh, we have gotten so many children coming to school. So if we have more classrooms, I think it will help the school so that they will be able to accommodate the children so well. And the children will learn. Those students are encouraged to explore electronic learning systems. During the period of indefinite closure, school authorities are preparing for a return anytime. Uh, what we'll do is that, and uh, we have started, I think I've talked with some of my senior high school headmistresses. They are all ladies, so they are all headmistresses. Uh, they, they started providing the Veronica buckets so that these children will uh, wash their hands at all times. And again, at their chemistry department, they started manufacturing this uh, uh, sanitizers. So when they come, they, they will use the sanitizers. Again, as they come, I think they will provide uh, uh, nose masks for them, so that all the children will do it. I will wish that they will come uh, uh, one by one. Maybe the form threes will come. Uh, we'll look at situations before the others come in. And at the uh, basic level, the upper primary will come. We'll look at how situation will be before the and lower primary camp. Meanwhile, steps to decongest classrooms at St. Jerome Senior High School at Abofo has received a boost with completion of a classroom block. Construction was facilitated by the MP, who is also initiating similar projects in other schools. At a joint sword cutting ceremony attended by traditional authorities, Mr. Banda indicated the projects will be completed on schedule to education and population growth by all means will outstrip infrastructure development. What I as a member of parliament can also do is to supplement and to complement the efforts of the president. So what do I have to do? I also have to ensure infrastructure development. Knowledge is power. Education is ultimate. Does town can develop with education. Offensive South can only develop if we give priority and importance to education. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima reporting.